Silversmith is a term a lot of people know, but not many people know what it is or what it entails. The word smith comes from the old English word to smite, like to strike or hit. So there's two main ways of working with silver. This started off as a silver disc and I hit it on the inside. So that I stretched it down into the bowl shape. We call this technique sinking. The other technique to make this higher form, that's compressing the metal because that started off as a flat sheet and I hit it on the outside to compress it up and that compresses the metal. If you look at the bowl shape and you imagine a line going through the center of it, if you take a line from the center to the edge, it rotates around the central axis. If you have an X and Y axis going through that bowl, they're both going in the same direction. That's a synclastic shape. If they go in opposite directions, that's anticlastic. The two curves are going in opposite directions. It's structurally, it's very, very strong. That's why Pringle crisps were made that shape because they sit on top of each other, they'll sit in a cone, they can be shipped and they don't break. A lot of modern architecture uses an anticlastic form because all the rainwater just flows straight off it. And again, structurally it's very strong so that it can be made from thin sheet concrete and you can have huge spans of roofs that don't need the support in them, you know. This, this bangle is basically a flat sheet that's turned into an anticlastic form. So you've the two curves, one going that way, I won't go in that way. So I'm just going to tap over the edge first. So I'm going to push the bangle on top of the anvil and I want to push it down into contact with the stake. So so as you can see the two curves coming up. So what I do then is just going very gently around it. I'm just pinching the metal what I'm doing now doesn't really make sense. <laughs> if I explain to you, when I hammer over the U-shape, it's just going to crease it. So what I've got to do is hammer it on this area, which is much bigger. And it's really the mandrel is pushing the metal over. So I'm just tapping it and then I'm rolling it over. So. Kind of, you can see that that's come over. Just to get, get it over the last little bit. Yep. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs>